A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and her relatives heard that the Lord has shown His great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father, but his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord John is his name. What we call traditions generally have value. They provide a sort of historical grounding to whatever we do. It also shows a certain respect for the decisions and values of those who were ahead of us. Unfortunately, the value of some traditions is time-bound, relevant in one period, irrelevant in another. The naming of the son of Zechariah and Elizabeth proves to be a test of upholding tradition. And here, tradition loses in favor of a new revelation, a new reading of the events in the life of the couple. John is to be the child's name, because this name proclaims the truth that to the couple, the Lord was gracious, which is the basic meaning of the name John in Hebrew. This should make us rethink how we name our children these days, for the practice has become too free and without control. The more foreign or strange the sound, the more difficult and unusual the spelling, as well, the better. Can we be more serious in our choice of names for our children?